don't know what to read, we've got what you need at Olympia Publishers. Don't be a fool, reading is pretty cool, with Olympia Publishers. We've got everything, even poetry, we've got everything with Olympia Publishers. Olympia, the bookmaker. Ah, new year and new me. It's March. But what am I going to do to improve myself this year? I mean, after my success of last year's resolution to eat more eggs, I just don't know how I'm going to top that. <sighs> Day to Day Happiness by Bo Bridgeland. Whoa! First we take a look at Day to Day Happiness by Bo Bridgeland. Having struggled with severe anxiety, depression and self-esteem issues, Bo found in his journey to overcome his difficulties some solutions and coping skills that turned many negatives into his life into positives. He began outlining practical techniques which then became a handy guide and a book was born. Wow, all my anxiety and self-esteem issues are fading away and it's all thanks to my good friend, Green Alcohol. Oh. Ah, that last book was a real breath of fresh air. Say, that reminds me of another book. It's In the Ocean of Air! In the Ocean of Air by Michael Klein is a chaotic and comical look at Michael's life as a respiratory therapist. The book looks at a wide variety of people in their stories. Some remarkable, some shocking, but all entertaining. Wise and funny, the book finds a way to instruct and delight all readers. Ah, oh, what a fun and delightful memoirs. Say, that inspires me to write my own memoirs! I was. 13 when I first saw my father cry. That's when I knew he wasn't invincible. It takes a lot to ask your only son to help you dispose a body of a clown, even more when it's eight. Why do they all travel together in that one tiny car? That truly was the day the laughter died. Remembering all those tough times have really brought me down. Maybe coming to a heap will help? Dive into Lonnie Carey's personal journey of depression, fear and stress and how these things can affect a marriage, career and life. The book is split into bite-sized chapters intended to help those who have suffered similar things to Lonnie. Oh, I feel better now. Back to the memoirs! I didn't know where all the chickens had come from, but I knew I was standing on a gold mine. Round the Reeves! This time we're looking at a fun new children's book called Otter and Bird. Otter and Bird by Hannah LaFleur is a story of two young friends, an otter and a bird, sitting on the softest rock in the ocean. Together they learn about turtles, life, death, courage and love. Even in the big ocean, small adventures are very important. Ah, it's good being back bringing you some of our fantastic books. All the books featured today are available on Amazon, at bookshops and at our website, olympiapublishers.com. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave a like or a comment or subscribe, huh? And remember... Potatoes don't count as a vegetable, they're nice. <laughs>